Yarfaji or Yarfaji, whatever you want to call it and pronounce it, is a very interesting um, topic. Um, a bunch of years ago, we discovered uh, Yarfaji in plasma cells. We found out that the plasma cells um, use Yarfaji to contain the size of the endoplasmic reticulum. And that's very important in plasma cell biology because the size of the endoplasmic reticulum and the secretory activity is a major source of stress for these cells, which cancer cells try and contain. So Yarfaji plays a key role in containing this stress. And we found at that time that uh, bone marrow plasma cells, which are the normal counterpart of myeloma cells, uh, are very much addicted to this function, so they cannot exist if we ablate autophagy and europhagy genetically. They just disappear from the bone marrow. So that obviously implies the potential to, you know, devise new targets also against multiple myeloma. That's one of the selective tasks of autophagy, europhagy. There's other functions like mitophagy, for example. These are also very important to myeloma cells. We know that much yet. For example, now we're studying europhagy more in detail. We're dissecting the exact molecular mechanisms whereby the endoplasmic reticulum, ER, is actually removed, uh, selected by autophagy, and the role of this function. And we have uh, surprising results along this line because we, we found, again, new uh, functions and unexpected relevance of this mechanism, which has implications for bioenergetics of myeloma cells and other types of, of, of consequences which imply the potential capacity for us to manipulate mechanisms and stress the cells out and again achieve selective elimination of cancer cells. That's a very uh, promising avenue.